So World War III just dropped some huge news. We're going to talk about it all here. If you guys like the video, leave a like on it. Subscribe for more FPS content. We just hit 242,000 subs and we're growing every single day. I appreciate everybody who's down for the ride. Let's take this to 300k. And this news is surrounding the PC release of World War III. If you guys aren't on PC and you're looking to get into it, check out my link down below for Apex Gaming PCs. You can use code BIGFRY for 5% off your order of a new pre-built system. If you guys don't know how to build PCs and you're just not quite sure and you just want somebody quality to build it for you, they're the ones to go to. World War III has announced that their next test, the closed beta test, is happening on November 25th. Their website it's completely redesigned the branding has changed from that red to like a nice like white and yellow but they said that the closed beta test is launching for PC on November 25th. The way they worded it there makes me seem like there might be some, some console news in the future as well. They say once deployed, the closed beta test will remain active until the planned launch of the open beta, which is happening in March 2022, when World War III will change to a free-to-play model. So it's finally been confirmed for everybody who doubted me. It's going free to play. We knew it from the beginning. They finally went out and said it. So they said you can secure your closed beta test access by purchasing a range of closed beta packs today, which also contains special gear and items, which will be available in the open beta test. And the announcement trailer you guys are seeing on screen here. Again, I'm going to have a link to all of this down below. The closed beta test will extend the battlefield to any player who purchases a closed beta pack or receives a veteran pack. There's, there's a lot to go go through here so just stick with me this closed beta is going to have four maps across two different modes tactical ops and deathmatch players can fight on the battlefields of berlin warsaw polyarni and moscow so it's basically what we saw in the alpha only they're bringing more people into the fray so there's five different packs that are now available via the official world war three website and are soon going to be coming to steam for pre-order and a lot of you guys who are gonna I, I can see the comments well i bought the game three years ago what if, we're gonna get to that just sit tight there's a private pack sergeant lieutenant major pack as well as a presidential pack which we're gonna talk about as well because that one's a, a $5 million price tag. Just sit tight. <laughs> So basically right now, the game is going free to play starting next year in March. If you guys want to buy in and play the closed beta test right now, you can. But for those who have already purchased the game and have it in their library before they, you know, last year took it off Steam, you guys are all going to be getting a veteran pack, which basically gets you a bunch of skins, gets you access to the closed beta, which means you don't have to buy anything else. And it also gives you access to one season of the battle pass. I think we're going to go through all of these packs now starting with the private pack so basically to get access to the closed beta if you didn't buy world war 3 before you can buy a copy of the game for $14.99 so they have dropped the price significantly again it's going free to play in six months so if you don't want to pay anything now you can just wait but the private pack gets you access to the beta it gets you access to an identification banner which i, I guess every single one of these packs have it's weird that they put it as like a feature a banner that will show when you kill an opponent or are killed yourself and you also get access to a weapon emblem for $14.99 you don't get a battle pass and you don't get any of the other blueprints that come in the other ones so sergeant pack $29.99 gets you access to the beta gets you the identification of weapon emblems as well as the operator blueprints and the weapon blueprints so these blueprints are basically the same as in modern warfare it's a bunch of attachments and skins um so the operator blueprints it gives you a selection of gear and camouflage the weapon blueprints weapon skins and attachments the 49.99 version is the lieutenant pack this is going to give you access to the ronin helmet the martyr knight operations there's a couple of character blueprints as well if you keep going down they're going to give you even more blueprints as well as weapon emblems as you guys are seeing on screen for the m4 the ak-15 the banner sets as well this is actually the pack that the veterans get as well as some other stuff we're going to talk about that in a little bit but you do get this pack if you do own the game already on steam and then we have a major pack which is 300 fucking dollars and it gets you access to all of this stuff as well as in-game currency for cosmetics 
camos, skins, and everything else. 15,000 UNC. Uh, apparently, that justifies the jump. Obviously, I'm going to tell every single person here, don't buy the $300 pack. That's fucking ridiculous at this point. If you guys can wait until March, you don't have to buy anything. If you guys do want to jump in early, you can download it, buy it for $14.99 starting on the 25th. Let's talk about the veteran pack here because basically it gives you access to the lieutenant package, one season of the battle pass, and you do get a couple of skins. So you get the veteran character skin, the UKM veteran LMG. You get uh, the character blueprints for the US and Russian riflemen, so those skins look dope. The uh, LMG uh, ground break skin, as well as the Ronin helmet, and uh, something called a Martyr Knight Operations for the IFV tank. It looks really cool, actually. Um, and it also gives you a vehicle blueprint for the Wolverine. So basically, you get access to the game during the closed beta. The closed beta progress is actually going to wipe come March, so just know that as well. You're not going to be able to transfer all that stuff over. The way this game is going to go, a lot of free-to-play games do the same thing. Yes, it's called an open beta come March 2022, but that is basically the soft launch for the game. Now, I want to talk about the President Pack, which at this point, I guess has actually been purchased. Um, <laughs> blows my fucking mind. The President Pack is a $5 million pack. It's limited to one person, meaning nobody else will ever own this. Not only does it contain a one-of-a-kind replica of the iconic Ronin helmet, which you guys can see here, but its lucky owner will also land a lead role in the World War III movie. Apparently, they're making a movie of the game, I guess. Um, you'll also receive a unique in-game avatar based on your likeness. A map will be created based on your hometown, and you alone can adorn your weapons with an exclusive golden skin. Now, right now you pre-order that pack. You can't anymore because it's only available to one person. And some crazy motherfucker actually bought it. A thousand dollar pre-order. Uh, they told me this morning because I asked them if it was a fucking joke. They said you pre-order it, you put the thousand dollars down, and then they go through you know your investment portfolio to make sure you can actually pay for it. So that person is apparently a really rich World War III fan. Um, so yeah, you scroll down here. They say you can land the lead role in the World War III movie. They say we'll make you a star in your very own movie written, directed by, and starring world-class talent. Now, I'll be honest, man. When we covered this on my stream earlier today, I said that nobody was going to buy this. Um, and I said it was basically just a marketing gimmick. So articles will start coming out saying this game is selling the most expensive version of of, of a pack of all time and it was going to get a lot of you know notoriety and and media coverage but it appears to my surprise that somebody actually paid for it um basically for for everybody else who who doesn't have just an absolute shit ton of money to spend the game is coming out in March 2022. The open beta test is probably going to go for years at this point. That's what a lot of free-to-play games do. So look at that as like the soft launch for World War III. But if you guys do want to play up into that point, you can jump in on November 25th for $14.99. Or if you bought the game before, you, you have this veteran pack status that gives you some goodies as well as the closed beta access. So World War III is coming. It's dropping a week after Battlefield 2042. And if you guys saw the video that I put out a few days ago, I actually think it has a pretty good opportunity to thrive alongside Battlefield. Now, I really want to work with Farm 51 in my games for getting, you know, keys and stuff to give away to the community. We've been backing this project literally since day one. So if I can do that for you guys, I'm definitely going to try and do so. They have a content creator program. I'm not a big fan of those, to be honest with you. It's basically just free promotion for, for giving away goodies for in-game stuff. Um, but, you know, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, guys, mark your calendars. November 25th, I am going to be streaming World War III over on Twitch. The link to that channel is down below. And I'm going to try and bring as much gameplay as possible so you guys can see where the game is at, basically, at this point. I'm very curious to see what's going to change from the alpha version of the game that just happened to beta. 
I don't know if there's going to be a lot of tweaks or not. I hope they put out some patch notes or something uh, so that we know kind of what we're getting into. And with that, guys, my name is Big Fry. Thank you guys for watching. My new merch is only available until Friday. If you guys want to check it out, the link to that is down below. Shout out to Apex Gaming PCs for being a consistent sponsor of the channel. World War III is looking hot, and I'm definitely excited for it. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like on the video. Subscribe for more FPS content. And I'll see you on the next one.